So, uh, uh, obviously, today is is 421. 421. The day after 420 where <laughs> your boy was zooted for like 12 straight hours. It was a good day. Um, it was also a good day because uh, a murderer uh, rightly got sent to prison for murdering, which is what happens when you murder people. Um, you you don't get to do that uh, at any point um, and the, or you or you go to jail. Uh, prison, rather, and 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 Derek Chauvin, the murderer of George Floyd, who was a human that was alive before Derek Chauvin murdered him, um, um, you know, he went to prison, and he'll be sentenced like in eight weeks or something like that. Um, uh, Derek Chauvin happened to be a cop, uh, which is um, it's a little weird. Uh, studies studies actually show that uh, uh, a lot of cops actually are murderers. So it's pretty. Uh, it's it's not terribly surprising. Uh, that's science. Uh, it's not terribly surprising to find out that another cop was a murderer. Um, and so obviously the right is losing their minds. And now I want to preface this this trash. And we're going to be doing uh, uh, Ben Shapiro's take on Derek Chauvin. For now, I want to preface this with uh, with a question. Hello, conservative. You might be watching this right now and thinking, "Oh man, look at that! Look at that! Look at that loser! He's in a he's a what is he wearing? What is he wearing? This is my huge frontal lobe. Uh, I'm a corn wizard, as you can see. Obviously, very obviously, I'm a corn wizard. Abracorn Dabra. Um, and you may be thinking to yourself, <laughs> "Why do liberals not want?" the government police officers to be allowed to murder people without a trial. That's not little government. Wait a second. So this is my question. <laughs> if you want small government, why do you want the government to be allowed to fucking kill you? That's the question. It's the whole question. All of it. The entire question is that. If you want small government, why do you also want the government to be able to kill you? Isn't that like the first thing on the list in reducing the size of government? And when we talk about the size of government, we don't mean employees of the government. We mean we mean the powers that the government has, obviously. Why do, why are you okay with the government being able to murder you? With with like a high chance of impunity, right? Like Derek Chauvin being sent to prison. Do you know why this is a news story? Do you know why this is a news story? Because he's like one of the first ones to actually face justice for one of these high profile murders that cops commit. Like, the fact that this is news is an indictment on police. And your worldview, if you are a conservative. It's a direct indictment on this. He's a murderer. He murdered George Floyd. And now you may be saying to yourself, and I'm sure Ben Shapiro will say something. Well, he did a lot of fentanyl. I don't give a shit. He did it to himself. If he was going to die from fentanyl... Which, maybe, we don't know. Because he was preemptively murdered by a cop. <laughs> then he will die from that. And that's his choice. As an American. God damn it. Like, I don't care if you do drugs. Drugs are not a thing that you do and then forfeit your right to life. Sometimes your body will make it make it so that that happens, but not at the hands of someone else, right? And let's be honest. You 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 said the same thing about literally every other person that ever gets killed by cops. You're just looking for a reason. If do you genuinely think as a conservative that if you do a drug and it happens to be illegal, that you have forfeit your right to life? Is that real? Is that, a, is that a real thing? For what reason? So is it simply that fentanyl 
Like the 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 illegality of him taking a drug? What if it was weed and it was legal where he was? Would it have been murder then to you? Good call, baby. What if it was alcohol and he had a, just almost a fatal amount of alcohol in his system? Would it have mattered to you? What if it was prescribed? Claudek, thanks for the tier one. So I'm just trying to find out where's the line. And you know the answer if you're a conservative. You don't have one. Because he was black. Like, come on. Let's be real. Philando Castile was a fucking gun owner legally and there was like what, what it like smelled like weed or something someone said something to the effect of like maybe he was doing a little weed and then he got murdered by a cop what's the what's the <laughs> where's your line you don't have one how is that small government dude sounds authoritarian to me if you allow the government to kill you, not only without a trial, just in any capacity, I don't think the death sentence is, is reasonable at all. In any in, in any scenario. Her ramble was just a gorilla. There's approximately 10 million police interactions a year, and a thousand results in death. I don't think it's perfect, but it's not bad. Foxfur, I know you're banned now, which is fine with me. I don't care. Foxfur, in chat. How do you have an acceptable number of deaths at the hand of the government? You're like, oh yeah, a thousand of them. You know what's you know what's not fine though. You know what the really the thing is if a th if still if a thousand cops. If, if a thousand cops killed people, right? There, then that means, guess what? That pretty close to a thousand cops should be in prison, because those are murders. Her ramble was just a gorilla. like that. Isn't that isn't <laughs> that isn't that isn't good for you? Like that's not a that's not an argument on your team. That's an indictment yet again. The problem is the is the same. No one here on this side of the aisle, the leftist aisle, is saying we're surprised that some people die when they have interactions with cops. No one is saying that we actually don't even expect it. Of course we expect it, right? What we're saying is with impunity they do this and you allow it and you like it and when people say hey it's bad to let people get away with murder you go yeah but it's only a thousand what it's only a thousand people that are supposed to protect and serve imagine if you were like yeah there's only you know we have 10 million heart surgeries a year and only a thousand doctors committed malpractice leading to the death of their patient if a thousand in 10 million boxes of cereal had rat heads in it they would scrap the entire batch and recall every box lawn darts got banned for less what are you talking about You're assuming it's murder. What do you mean I'm assuming it's murder? It's murder. He was found guilty. Of course it's murder. And every other cop that fucking kills someone without a trial, it's murder. You can't fucking kill people. You don't get to kill people. That's what murder is. Literally zero leftists will be out here saying cops shouldn't defend themselves if they're being shot at or something of course not nobody is saying that right i'm 100 percent fine with you defending yourself in any job you could be a manager at mcdonald's and if someone pulls a gun on you i'm fine with you fucking throwing the fry basket at them i don't and if it leads to their death that's their fucking you you fuck around and find out that's what happens dude but not 
When you have authority over a populace and you start shooting people because you're real scared they might have a gun, fuck you. You're not fit for duty. You need to go to prison. You need to go to prison. And I'm not even a guy that is even for f- f- prisons in general. I don't think that we should be incarcerating at the level we are. But guess who fucking does that? The people that actually should be in fucking prison. Fuck cops. Cops are fucking stupid. You know who else we should fuck? Ben Shapiro. Hmm, wait a second. Sure, let's fuck Ben Shapiro. I don't care. We've just learned the verdict in the Derek Chauvin uh, trial, and we will be coming to you uh, live with as many updates as possible. Right now, the verdict is guilty uh, on all charges. Ben. (laughs) Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Can you just spam whatever it is you feel about this guy right now? Just get it out right now. A little catharsis. How do you feel about this fucking loser? How do you feel about this fucking guy? Let me know. Let me know in chat. Let's just just have it it scroll. Eat a dick, Derek. Loser. Eat a dick. Murderer. Loser. Fucking scumbag, dude. Fuck you. Look at his face. Awesome. I genuinely did not expect to reap what I sow. (laughs) I'm sorry. Am I actually going to prison for murder? But I thought I wasn't supposed to. Idiot. So fucking good. Tell us what it means. So it means that I'm not sure whether the, the the sentencing is cumulative cumulative or whether it is uh, or whether it is they take the top sentence and then everything else falls under that. But uh, because he doesn't have a criminal record, that means he maxes out at 12 and a half years for second degree murder, 12 and a half years for third degree murder, four years or so for the manslaughter charge. Um, the, it was pretty obvious from how fast the jury came back mm-hmm. that it was going to be guilty on all counts as soon as they said the jury was coming back today. Well, it's pretty obvious. You know, you know when I met the guilty verdict. When I, you know, and it took me a while, right, to come to the, to come to, I don't know, did he actually murder him? Uh, Last summer, the second after I finished watching the video, I was like, that's a murder. Because I'm not an idiot, right? It takes like no, no time at all to be, to like assess that and go, that's a murder. We shouldn't allow that. That's, that's, those are, those are bad things that we don't like. Murders are bad. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't do that. No, no murder, please. <laughs> like, how much time did it take any of you? None is the answer. <laughs> oh no, do we F? Ah! Ah! Are we back? We good? I had a little buffering issue on my end. You good? I think we're back. I think we're back. I think we're back. We back? We bad? We be good? We bad? I have excellent upload speed. Excellent upload speed. Quick, send bits to force them back. Oh no! Oh no! It's lagging. Like it stops and starts back up. Oh no! That was my shitty phone. I think it's just Twitch. Jimothy, thanks for the five months, dude. I hope you can hear it. Oh no! Is Sarah doing something? Dude. Hey. Hey, are you uploading? If so, don't. Please. Let's see if it comes back, baby. CIA is on to us. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, Papa, bear. Are we back? Are we good?
<laughs> Stay strong, Cobbies. We're Jake in 4B. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. I didn't have to do anything. Yes, wonderful. Step away. How far behind are you, though? That's what I got to know. I'm going to refresh this, see how far. Chad, can you hear me? I think we're good now. See if it comes back, baby. Shit. Yeah, I think you're delayed like crazy. I think you're delayed like crazy. That's okay. I'm going to continue to rant now. I'm going to continue to rant. Uh, it's not buffering, but now we're like a minute behind. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Well, I guess we'll find out. Maybe we'll catch up in a little bit. If after this video we're not back up, I'll uh, I'll stop and start real quick. Yeah, chat seems way behind. I agree. Yeah. Phones could be backing up. Maybe. Uh, 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 well, I'm just going to continue. Fuck Ben Shapiro, dude. I, I immediately said to my producers and publicly that it was going to be guilty on all counts because they were never going to acquit on all counts that quickly. Like if there had been an acquittal, I agree it would have taken that, a while to get there. Uh, my wrong. own prediction was... One big mistake, man. Thanks for the seven months. ...was that if there had been any sort of real evidentiary consideration, which I frankly do not think that there probably was in this case... It was Jesus fucking Christ, Ben. The evidentiary consideration... The nine and a half minute long video where he sat on a man's neck with his knee? What? What? Of course. Sure. Sure. It was a three-week trial. There were 10 hours of consideration. That is wildly disproportionate in a case that has this many conflicting fact patterns. It doesn't have any conflicting fact patterns. What do you... What do you... <laughs> what do you mean? Um, that if they came back this fast, uh, it would be a guilty verdict. I thought any jury that looked at this would probably have gone hung jury on the, on the two murder charges uh, and then maybe convicted on the manslaughter charge. A reasonable jury, he says. Jesus Christ. Okay. I, I, I don't know how you hang jury on this for murder. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, I genuinely don't know how you, you even get to the point where you look at this and go, well, that's not obviously him putting that person in dangerous like in a dangerous way with their health. Like what like second degree, second degree murder is I believe you have to uh 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 generally finds is intentional that lacks premeditation, sure. It's intended to only cause uh only cause bodily harm and demonstrates an extreme indifference to human life. Extreme indifference is exactly the part where I think you have to convict on this no matter what. Um Quite, quite literally, he had extreme indifference towards George Floyd's life, and it led to his death, but it wasn't premeditated. It's, it's like textbook second-degree murder. It makes all the sense in the world to, to just do that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You just jumped good. I'm glad you're all back, so we have to start over. So I, I, Ben Shapiro obviously is... is Again, one of these partisan hacks, dude. It's not a partisan issue. It's not. There was a white kid, and I can't remember his name because there's just so many people that get fucking killed every single day this week, or this week, this year. Every single day, people have been killed by cops or or a mass shooter, right? Every single day so far. That XY girl, imagine a justice system where all crimes are tried before a council of Ben Shapiro's. Are, is anyone going to jail besides, you know, people he doesn't like? This is, like, objective. If it was a Republican, if George Floyd was a MAGA hat, okay? if Imagine the only difference of the George Floyd murder, right? Imagine the only difference is that George Floyd is on the ground and there's a MAGA hat on his head. 
Okay. It's still murder. What? It's in, it's still murder. I don't I don't know how you even look at that without going, yeah, that's obviously fucking wrong. Obviously wrong. I <laughs> Absolutely wild. Usually a fast jury is bad for the defense, I guess. I don't know about this case, though, obviously. Uh, if you were going to get very aggressive, that would have been an aggressive jury. If you were a not aggressive jury, you would have hung on all three counts. Um, and if it had hung on all three counts, if it had hung at all, then the, the judge would have instructed them to keep going back in the jury room, trying to beat it out, because the fact is that you need a unanimous verdict for either acquittal or for conviction uh, in, in Minnesota. The fact that it was unanimous that quickly meant pretty clearly that it was going to be conviction on all charges uh, coming out. No, not the... <laughs> See, this is the thing, Rublum. I know you brought it up just now. Uh, no, not the white kid that was shot on his knees in the hotel because he was murdered while he's on his knees saying, quite literally, please don't shoot me. I don't want to die. Um, no, I'm sorry. There, there's actually a lot more... Uh, 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 a lot more uh, uh, people that have died uh, than that. So, yeah. Are we losing it again? I'm seeing Fs. Lag again? Why? Yeah, it's just so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When somebody's murdered by the state, it doesn't matter why. Exactly, the state should not be murdering people. Hundred percent true. Um, no, F for me. Okay. Uh, so it's their leg. Uh, so I forget the uh the white kid the other day, but he I, I forget his name. I'm sorry. Um, but he was running and he uh, he got shot by that fence. He was like 16 years old. I forget his name. Or he wasn't white, was he? I guess he was sort of white passing, but I thought... I think the initial... Wasn't in the initial report it was a white kid and then it turned out that he was Hispanic or something? My nuts. Are you saying the Republicans would be more sympathetic if a black man was killed because he was a Trump supporter? Well, first of all, the Republicans would hate to lose a, a token black supporter for Trump. Um, so maybe. But no, what I'm saying is... No one on the left would be partisan like that, right? Like, there there aren't people... Like, liberals would, sure. But leftists, ACAB leftists, you know, reasonable people. Um, if George Floyd was wearing a MAGA hat, and that was the only difference in the experience of the video, right? Everything else is exactly the same. All of us, all of us would say, that's murder. Right? Adam Toledo, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it was on Twitter the initial report was uh was uh that he was white. I think that's what it was saying, but uh yeah, and he was 13. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but then um cuz I was following that that night and they were, remember it was like it was like that really confusing sort of like officer involved shooting with possible white teen or something. But yeah, it turned out he wasn't white after that. But it it's irrelevant. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, Adam Toledo. Yep. That's the one I was thinking of though. But Twitter that day was a little confused at who happened because the, you know, you know how the, those reports go. Anyway, let's continue with Ben. Fucking Ben. Yeah, we'll have to see whether people who had, you know, spent their nights planning for rioting and looting now <laughs> actually go home or whether they go ahead and hit the local target in celebration, presumably. What the fuck is what the what the fuck, dude? I mean the 13-year-old man? <laughs> 13 year old boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, fuck, Ben. Um, ben Carson. It wasn't Ben Carson that died. What? What? Ben Carson? He's still alive. What are you talking about? Am I nuts? Yeah, he's not dead. No, 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 no. The, uh, it wasn't Ben Carson. It was, um, uh, uh, the other guy, Herman Cain. No, no, Dante Wright. Yeah, yeah. I was so sad when thirteen-year-old Prince Philip died. That's true. Yeah. Uh, of of. The I, oh, sorry. I I got distracted by you. You guys, fucking you, fucking guys. Uh. So Ben Shapiro just, of course, had to make a rioting joke because, again, there's this there's this thing and I and, and, and you know, it's it's racism. But 
why don't they like do they genuinely not understand what the like public demonstrations are are about and for or 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 what do you think like do you think they know what it is or do you think they're genuinely misunderstanding the reason right because like like this this entire thing like 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 being in the streets and and advocating for yourself outside of electoral politics is kind of american 101 this is this is absolutely how we do stuff and i'm really glad that we're taking to the streets more often now in a modern age uh it's much it's it's very similar to uh uh you know how how like france does stuff um or other euro countries they're they're very they're you know public demonstrations and stuff are are, are really common in some other countries and they're not as common in the U- US mostly because of police violence um and uh well uh, we get very complacent as people but um we're starting to get less comfortable uh due to you know uh, we had a shitty 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 president for 4 years we'll see how biden does seems to be doing uh, okayish right now um we'll probably give him like a like a bish a b b grade big failures on some stuff um there's just <laughs> I, I don't know how, again, if you want small government, why do you want the government to be able to tell you when you can or cannot have a voice when you are when you are slighted? Even if you disagree with the slight, right? How are you not principled enough to understand that this is a, just another form of free speech? I, I, I don't get I don't get it. Just from an intellectual standpoint, I can't get there. I cannot understand why they have a problem with this kind of stuff. I know why socially they have a problem with this stuff, not intellectually. Socially, it's like, oh, there's black people doing stuff. There's a bunch of gay people doing stuff. They're they're Marxists. They're leftists. Ah, and these are people that we fear. So then they they get mad about that. But I mean, just on an intellectual level, how do you not just go, well, it's their right? <laughs> you know what I mean? The verdict. Um, but I think one thing is pretty clear for anybody who watched this case closely. Mm-hmm. I don't know how closely you watched it, Drew or Jeremy. I know, Matt, you watched it really closely. Uh, for people who watched this case closely, there are elements here that it's very difficult to make the case to me that any rational jury would have, who just looked at the evidence would have come to the conclusion that beyond a reasonable doubt, Chauvin was guilty of second or third degree murder. It was easily beyond reasonable doubt. I don't know how you could you could be confused about that. That's not what reasonable... You, he stood on the man's neck. It, no, I'm not expecting Shapiro to have integrity. No, no, no. I mean, just in general, how popular the idea is. Not Shapiro himself. Fuck Shapiro. He's got so anyone with a monetary and like 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 money to be made for having their opinion, like this, like right wingers, they're grifters, dude. Even if they believe it, which I believe Ben Shapiro believes it. They're still grifting. We can do those as workers in France did. A whole village gathered to spray Parliament down with the manure from their livestock. That's amazing. This just did not fulfill the elements. The third-degree murder charge particularly is absurd on its face. The third-degree murder charge never should have been allowed in the courtroom. The third-degree murder charge is, is a charge uh, for what is generally called depraved heart murder. Depraved heart murder is you throw a brick onto a freeway, and you don't have anybody you're explicitly attempting to kill, but you end up killing somebody on the freeway. You shoot. Well, he didn't throw a brick. He stood on a he stood on a man's neck intentionally for almost ten minutes. What? That's not throwing a brick and accidentally killing someone. How do you justify this, intellectually speaking? Like very clearly, he did that intentionally. There were if he had initially restrained George Floyd, and part of it was knee on neck. I would be against it in general, obviously, um, because that's excessive and you don't need to do that. But then he stayed. If he had simply gotten off, put George Floyd in cuffs, and done his job, this wouldn't be a thing. And now he's in fucking prison. And I hope he rots. Like, French protests don't fuck around? They do not shoot a gun into a crowd, that's depraved heart murder. And 
that was what the third degree murder charge was. You have to have intent to kill others, right? And then you end up killing one person. Mm. It was counted anyway. It shouldn't have been on the it shouldn't have been on the docket. The third wait 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 his third Chauvin third degree murder. Uh, 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 third degree murder is unintentionally causing someone's death by committing an act that is eminently dangerous to other persons while exhibiting a depraved mind with reckless disregard for human life. Chauvin is accused of committing or intentionally aiding in the commission of this crime. Yeah, that makes sense. Not the way that Ben Shapiro said it, throwing a brick into traffic. Inten unintentionally causing someone's death by committing an act that is eminently dangerous uh, to other persons, which means persons other than yourself. It doesn't mean persons other than your victim while exhibiting a depraved mind which means that he was obviously being you know too aggressive which is what you sure you can call it that with reckless disregard for human life and they're calling a depraved mind uh reckless disregard for human life yeah obviously if he had valued uh, uh the life of george floyd he wouldn't have stood on his neck all day you know what i mean like it does no 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 it, re it requires depraved mind specifically depraved mind that uh, doesn't mean he's he's got a mental illness. Depraved mind, in the in the name of in the letter of this law, I means specifically he had disregard for human life. Yeah. Whoever with that intent to affect the death of any person causes the death of another by portraying act in Yeah, I just read that. Yes. He is guilty, and you know how I know he's guilty. Right there. It it was harder to prove. Well, it doesn't matter if it's harder to prove. He's guilty of it. It's, it was really difficult to prove it. it. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. I don't know. I don't know why that matters. <laughs> like what? <laughs> they proved it. They did it. He's guilty of it. There it is. The prosecution did a good job. Two is easier than them, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's irrelevant, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. But there it is. Proven. Second degree murder charge required felony assault that results in the murder. So usually that is where you're robbing a store, you got a gun, the gun accidentally goes off and kills somebody, right? Or, or the guy dies for some other reason while you're in the process of committing some sort of felony. So you had to show that he intended to commit a felony against George Floyd. He committed a felony against George Floyd, though. There it was. The f wait, wait, wait. No, I know. I, 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 I know you're not rolling. It's okay. Uh, I was making a joke. Uh, they did prove he did a felony, though, because he's in prison now for a felony, and that felony is murder. What do you? What does Ben Shapiro think trials are for? They did that at the trial. They did this, Ben. This is the part they did. What do you? What? I don't understand him. Well, you have to prove that uh, he was trying to do a felony. Murder's the felony. He doesn't have to be doing a different thing than murder. What? Ben Shapiro has like no understanding of the law. Apparently, like that's not how that's read. It doesn't. It literally does not mean you have to be doing another felony somewhere, and then someone dies incidentally during the act of that felony. That is not what that means. Second degree murder specifically is just you murder someone without premeditating it, meaning you didn't plan on engaging with George Floyd and murdering him. But when you did engage with George Floyd, you murdered him. Right. Like at breakfast that morning, you weren't like, I'm going to kill a man named George today. First George, I mean, he's fucking dead, bro. No, you're just a shitty person. And you killed a man because you didn't value his life because you are not there to protect and serve. You're there to be a fucking <laughs> Gestapo. Like, get the fuck out of here. You suck. Yeah, first degree would be first degree would be uh, uh, premeditation, of course. That's not Minnesota state law. What are you talking about? We just read it, dude. Secondary murder is generally defined as intentional murder that lacks premeditation. It's intended to only cause bodily harm and demonstrates an extreme indifference to human life. The exact legal definition of this crime will vary by jurisdiction. 
like the exact but it be, it's like it's like you have to you have to fall under the federal understanding of this so her ramble was just a gorilla causes the death of a human being without intent to affect the death of a person while intentionally inflicting or attempting bodily harm the same thing it's just word different this isn't that different dude i don't know why you're being a fucking like all right all right here we go here we go if you continue to well actually i literally just read the minnesota state one just a second ago if you continue to well actually this shit you got you're going to you're going to stop doing that by one means or another okay like jesus christ <laughs> not you kings it jesus christ <laughs> well actually <laughs> no one cares no one cares it's the same law it's just it's just vaguely different wording barely it still has disregard for human life in it I, I, there's no reason to be like mm, actually and then masturbate into your own mouth dude if you're gonna do that if you're gonna jack yourself off do it privately or with someone that consents because i do not <laughs> like do it elsewhere my guy it's very difficult to say that he intended to commit a felony against george floyd because minneapolis police department procedure allows you to do exactly what chauvin was doing under the circumstances the manslaughter one was a little bit easier to make because the charges in that in the manslaughter case you just have to have reckless disregard so the the prosecution can make the case that even if he didn't mean to do anything bad it was reckless for him not to get off of floyd once floyd was already unconscious and once floyd was dying he should have gotten off of him and it was reckless not to get off of him but the fact that they convicted on all three counts says to me that they weren't really looking at the evidence because again all three of those charges also rely on a simple question of causation right Okay. Did George Floyd actually die because Derek Chauvin? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yes. Yes, he did. According to the fucking person in charge of overseeing the medical exam. Yes, it was literally proven in court. Like, out loud. What? This is a thing that happened. How did he die? Medical professional says, hey, it, it, was, it was the knee that he fucking died from. He died. He he died. He died from the. Ramble was just a gorilla. He he died from the man atop him, the one we're trying to send to prison, and then he did, and then he did. Do you need proof? Here it is. There's the proof. Fucking crab rave, baby. Motherfucking crab rave, dude. Anyway, was was on top of him with his knee. What the defense showed repeatedly is that he did not have his knee on his neck. <laughs> what? Her ramble. What? Was what, you, what? 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 The defense showed literally he did not have the knee on the neck. What do you? There's a video, my guy. I. Uh, I don't want to watch it again. Oh my god, bro. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to mute this. I'm going to mute this. I don't think it's here. Is that the end? Oh, rip. Okay, burner cam footage. 9 minutes of him sitting on a man's face. You know how when you like put your knee on someone and then they die from it? How that's not fucking reasonable at any point. Oh, this isn't even the video. I mean, just absolutely fucking disgusting. Like, I don't give a shit. I don't. <laughs> I'm. Uh, there's so many. You can just watch the video, dude. I'm not going to show any of this to you, any of you, for the record. I'm not going to show a single frame of any of, of, of that man's death. I'm just not going to do it. You've seen it enough. You don't need it again. There's no. I don't need to prove it to you. It was proven. It was proven. They pulled him out of a car they, at gunpoint, and they fucking... He stood on his neck. You can see it. it, it <laughs> this isn't even a fucking discussion, dude. Uh, waiting for Ben to be like, it's not murder. It's involuntary insisted transitioning from a living state to a non-living state. It's absolutely nuts. Absolutely fucking nuts. 
the, Ben Shapiro is just on a fucking grift, dude. The pulmonologist really wrote, drove this into the ground. Is that what they're called? Pulmonologists? I didn't know that. It's brown shirt assisted suicide. Cool. Yeah. It's, ugh. Right, there was no physical trauma to his trachea. There was no evidence. What do you mean just trachea? He was on his artery the whole time. What? No, I know, I, I know what a pulmonologist is because of the root words. I didn't know they were called pulmonologists. <laughs> no, I know, I know that pulmonary equals lungs. Thank you. Are they called renologists, the kidney special? Like, I don't understand. His wife is a doctor. She must be a fucking shitty one. Evidence that there had been physical trauma to his, uh, to his arteries that would have cut off the oxygen to the brain. He was quite literally on this art. What do you, what? Uh, it, there, there are a couple different types of asphyxia. There's, there's physical asphyxia where you actually strangle somebody. Uh, there's, you deprive somebody of oxygen to the brain by cutting off their blood supply. Yes, he did that. What do you mean? That's what the cause of death was that. What? And he was also on his back. He was having a hard time. Look, 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 look. It was a asphyxiation. Do you know who else? So if you put pressure on someone's back and their neck, right, you don't have to fucking crush their trachea. You can kill someone like that because the diaphragm has to continue to move up and down. It can get fatigued over the course of fucking nine minutes. Jesus Christ, dude. Like, 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 for instance, um, the common cause of death from crucifixion, for example, it's not blood loss. It's not other trauma. It's asphyxiation, because when you're when you're when you're up like this, right? In 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 Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, when you're up like this, or you're like this, and you're just being pulled, uh, the entire your entire chest cavity is compressed and pulled and stretched, and your diaphragm can't keep up with that forever, and you eventually just lose the ability to breathe due to fatigue. You die from asphyxiation that way. Um, and so, like, that's I mean, just how it works. Does Ben not realize there's more in the neck than just the trachea? I have no fucking idea, dude. That's how Jesus died. Jesus who existed and is our Lord and Savior. Um, definitely true. Real stuff right there. Um, how you'd have to put weight on your nailed feet to breathe, yeah. Finally made a live stream? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, via, their, via their arterial blood flow. Uh, and then there is... A chemical asphyxia, which is drug overdose, uh, and 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 the scientists involved in deciding whether or not it was dr <laughs> chemical asphyxiation uh, said no. The fact is that George Floyd had three times the the deadly level of fentanyl in his system. He was high as a kite. He had seventy five percent arterial blockage. The medical examiner originally said, if I'd found him dead in his room, I would have immediately assumed <laughs> that it was a drug overdose. Right? And the only reason that this became a national issue is because of the tape, which on its face, when everybody first saw it, looks really ugly. What do you mean it looks really ugly? It's, it's ugly. It's still ugly. What do you mean? It's murder. He murdered him. It's just murder. <laughs> you know how I know? You know how I know, chat? Do you want proof? There it is. <laughs> they really wanted the riots to go on forever. They really wanted the riots. I, I get I don't know. I don't know what the fuck their idea is. But, I mean, the riots will continue if they continue to kill people. So fuck them. Because it turns out that a lot of policing looks really ugly. And then when you get all of the lead up, at the very least, you don't have to say that you love what Chauvin did. You don't have to say that, that Chauvin acted appropriately. You don't have to say any of that stuff. What you do have to say is to not even believe that there's reasonable doubt on the murder charges. On the murder charges, where you would have to have intent. That suggests to me that this was far less about the actual facts of the case and far more about all of the hubbub surrounding the case. This The hubbub? <laughs> Did he just call <laughs> the social unrest surrounding the George Floyd murder hubbub? You can tell how genuinely unaffected he is by how america is right and how people live this is just murder you know murder is, is is hubbub you know it's a little a little a little hiccup in his experience you know what i mean nuts trial never should have taken place in minneapolis it should have immediately been transferred in terms of venue you were not going to find an impartial jury in minneapolis in the single most publicized criminal justice case of our lifetime at least since rodney king
Good. Fuck them. It's not. It doesn't need what you 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 are. <laughs> You are sent to be uh, uh, judged by your peers, your peers being your community. Your peers and your community get to decide whether or not you get to remain there. And, sorry, Ben, Derek, no longer allowed. If the judge thought that, they would have moved the trial, 100%. That's why they go through jury selection, dude. Anyway. Anyway. Are we all caught up now, chat? I'm sorry for the hiccup. It wasn't. I don't think it was anything we were doing. Sarah wasn't uh, uploading anything. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. So, um, Yeah, but he did have three times levels of normal fentanyl in his system that if you found him in dead in his room, you wouldn't have been surprised. Well, Zen said, have you considered that he also had 100% more people upon his neck than you would have assumed? And if you found him dead after having 100% more people than you expected smashing his neck, uh, that you wouldn't be surprised that he died by that either because that's how people can die? That's my medical diagnosis. There were 100%. 100% more people than normal on his neck. The fentanyl claim is just a lie anyway. It's not even true. 9.6 nanograms per liter of blood. Incredible. It's a Facebook boomer meme. Crushing it. Just like Derek Chauvin crushed and murdered uh, uh, George Floyd. And now he's in prison because he's a murderer. Here's a tip. Here's a tip. Are you are you are 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 you a are you a are, are you a chud? Are you a right wing loser? Okay. Do you have a thin penis and you also voted for Donald Trump? Do you think that Derek Chauvin was innocent of the murder of George Floyd? Well, then listen up. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, loser! Fuck you! You suck! You suck! You suck! You lose! 